Hello everyone, I'm Felix. This is a tutorial for Gamma, a tool for mapping space exploration. The architecture of the DNA accelerator includes three parts. Data flow strategy, telling strategy, and hardware resources. Data flow strategy includes compute order and parallelism strategy. And telling strategy includes telling sizes of each dimension. And hardware resources includes PE, buffer inside each PE, and global buffer and not bandwidth. And data flow and tally strategy together, we will call it mapping. And for this work, we assume the hardware resources are fixed and we'll try to optimize the mapping. Now let's look at how mapping matters. Now you are looking at the example of running the second layer of VGG16 under the same hardware resource constraint, and we just give them different mapping strategy. And we look at their energy latency area performance. And we can see that just by different mapping strategy, we can have up to four order of magnitude difference of the highway performance. So our problem becomes, given a platform infrastructure, we want to find optimal mapping strategy. It means the highway resource is constrained, like PE, local, and global buffer. We want to tune each knob of the mapping aspect, like number of parison, compute order, tiling strategy, and parison dimension. Our work is gamma. It's a genetic algorithm-based algorithm. So in genetic algorithm, we will use genetic encoding to encode the search space. So now let's look at how we encode the search space. So for each individual, we will have genome and gene. And we want to use genome to cover the full aspect of the mapping. First of all, this is a one level pair region. And we call this L1 mapper. So we cover a number of pair region. And we encode the compute order at the first row. And we encode the tile strategy at the second row. And we encode the pair region dimension at the first gene then we cover the whole mapping space. Now let's look at an example of NVIDIA-like mapping. NVIDIA-like is a two-level parison and it parallelizes across K, C dimension. So you can see that it parallelizes across K and C dimension. And when translated into the Maslow directly, it will look like this. It parallelizes across K, C dimension, and then cluster size is 64, and tile size is reflected here. And the upper cluster and lower cluster is expressed by the L2 mapper and L1 mapper. So now let's look at how gamma works. Gamma is a GFS algorithm, so it includes evolution and evaluation part. So in the evolution part, in addition to the crossover and mutation that general GA has, we have three additional genetic operators, which is reorder, growing, and aging. And in the evaluation part, to evaluate the hardware fitness, we have the hardware cost model of Maestro embedded, and more details are in the paper. So for the input, we take DNA model, objective like latency energy, platform resources like number of PE, global or local buffer, and mapping constraint. And we output the mapping strategy, which is the optimized mapping of each layer. In this repo, we also provide some conventional optimization method, which is supported by the NeverGrad package. So the only difference is that we keep the algorithm loop, but we replace the evolution part of the gamma into some optimization method. And it could be random search, uh, standard genetic algorithm, differential evolution, and so on. Now let's see how we'll run gamma. First setup, you'll get clone from this repo and then create a virtual environment if you want, and then install the requirement and the dependency. And then you can run gamma with this script and auto optimization with this script. In the gamma code base, you can see this directory structure. The code model is a soft link to Maestro. And hardware configuration is the user defined hardware configuration, we'll talk about it later. And the model directory is the model that we supported. And the out directory is the resource directory. And then we have gamma and optimization under the source directory. Here are some options you can set up in the argument input. And we we'll categorize them into objective, constraint, and hyperparameter. For objective, gamma supports two stage optimization. So it will optimize the first finish at the first stage and second finish at the second stage. So if you only care about latency, then you can just set the stage as one and set fitness one as latency. Here model is the target model you want to optimize like VGG16. Single layer means if you just want to see the performance of optimizing one of the layer of the model, you can just put their layer index here. Like here we put a one. So it's first layer of VGG16. And constraint will include number of PE, L1 and L2 sizes. And S over mean, S over max means number of pair reasons. So the allow number of pair reason for the algorithm to explore will be from S over mean to S over max. So for here, we put like one and two here. So it could have 
one number of parameters to two number of parameters. And also for this four constraint parameter, you can set up in the input argument, or you can just set up in the hardware configuration file. And for the hyperparameter, you can set up the epoch and the method you want to use. And also probability of the generating operator is one of the hyperparameter, and you can set up in the code base, and we will talk about it later. Now let's have some demo. Here we have already downloaded the repo and installed the requirement. And we are in the gamma directory now. Now let's take a look at our repo directory first. In our repo directory, gamma, you can see that there will be a hardware config file in the data hardware config directory. You can set up your number P, L1, L2 size and not bandwidth here. And in the model directory, there are some supported model that we have, like AlexNet, DanceNet, and VGG16. And we will run this script, run gamma with hardware config. So it will run gamma and take in this hardware config file, which is this. And then we set the thinness as latency, and we just take the first stage, so first stage, so we only care about latency. And parameter level were from one to two, and we run it for 50 epoch. And the model we use is VGG16, and we target single layer and target the first layer of VGG16. And also, if you don't specify this, then it will optimize for all the layer of VGG16. Here we put like the first layer of VG16 here. So the first layer of VG16 means this dimension. Now let's run gamma. We let it run for 50 generation and it will pop out this latency to generation converge curve. And also here we will print the result here. So this is the final fitness you achieve. And this is the final genetic encoding you have. So in the output directory, you will see this. In gamma output directory, you will see this result directory file. And in the image directory, you will see the image that we just pop up and the output log here. So it's the layer you're optimizing and the final fitness and genetic encoding. And then we also print out the master directory here. And as you see from this master directory, it parallelizes across X and C dimension. And the C dimension you use cluster size of three, which matches this. Now let's try another layer. So we are trying the first layer of VG16. Now let's try the last layer of VG16. And before running it, I will just remain it to the first layer. Okay, so now let's run it. Here, after 50 generation, we can see the resource comes out and the latency converge. And this is the final fitness and the final genetic encoding. Now let's see the result directory. Here you will see a new result directory pop up here. And now let's directly go to the uh, menstrual directory file. So here you can see the dimension is very different from the last one we show. And then it parallelizes across K and X dimension. And in X dimension, you use the cluster size as 14. So 14 images here. So, so for above two examples, you can see that just on the parallel dimension, it makes sense and like consistent with the heuristic that we have. Now let's do another experiment. Here we change P to some bigger number and L1 size, L2 size to some larger number and then see what will happen. Yeah, and also we drawn it for the 13 layer of VGG16. So now let's run gamma. Here we have the result. Now let's look at our uh, output directory. You will see a new uh, result directory pop up here. So it's this one that we get more resources here. So let, now let's look at the uh, log result here. And also this is the menstrual directory. So now let's make some comparison with the last result that we got. So this is the one that we have 
with more resources. So it achieved 1.8 and 10 to the 5. And this is with the last resource. And it achieved 1.8, 10 to the 6. So you can see that given more resources, then you will achieve better latency. For the last experiment, now let's run other optimization methods. So we will go to run other with hardware configuration. So the method we choose is differential evolution, and we run it for VG16 and the first layer of VG16. And hardware configuration, let's change it to the same hardware configuration. And then now let's run it. So the optimization and the now let's see the output directory. You can see there will be a differential evolution here. And also the output result and the menstrual directive. So output result, you can see that it achieves 7.7, .7, uh, 10 to the 5. And now let's make some comparison. So this is the one that gamma get. It achieved 1.1, .1, 10 to the 4. So gamma achieved better result. And next we will talk about some configuration you can make and how to tune the hyperparameter. So here's how a configuration. So in this directory, this file, you can see something like this. So this is where you can set up your hardware configuration. And also you can add your own DNA model here just by writing a DNA description. For some advanced users, you can also tune the gamma specific hyperparameter. For example, in this gamma environment file, in this run function, you can tune the number of population and number of generation. And also tune the elite ratio. Elite ratios mean the ratio of the elite we keep the next generation. And here we keep 5% of population, for example. And parents ratio is the ratio of parents we keep. And also for the full genetic operator we have, you can also tune the mutation ratio here. You can also add your own optimization algorithm. And this is the skeletal of the code that you may want to have. You can come to this main file in the other optimization out directory and go to this never grad search function. First of all, you need to define the range of your parameter. Here we define it in the never grad format, but you can define it in any format like NumPy. And then you will define your optimizer here. So optimizer here means evolution block. And we provide the evaluation block for you. The only thing you need to do is to modify this to take in your input parameter. And then we will handle the hardware performance evaluation for you. Thank you. For more detail, please refer to the paper and the repo is available online.